Let's make an easy Instagram reel using only a photo and Canva. What we're going to do is come into Canva. You're going to create a new design. Inside here, you're looking for Instagram reel. Once you're in here, what you're going to do is you're either going to upload the photo that you want to use or you want to go into the elements tab and you want to find a photo that you can use. In this case, I am creating a promotional reel for Mother's Day for one of my clients. So I am looking for facial and I think I'm just going to go with, I'm going to look at all the photos here, but I think I'm just going to go with this one because this is totally her vibe. Okay, I have applied the photo. All I did was click it. I'm going to click on these three dots and I'm going to click set image as background. Then what I'm going to do down here is I'm going to add a second page. I'm going to go up. I'm going to choose that exact same photo, apply it, click those three dots, set image as background. So now I have two different slides in here and I'm going to tap on the first one. I am going to tap on the image itself until I get the three dots. Then I'm going to come up, I'm going to go to edit photo. What I'm looking for under effects is blur. If I don't see blur, I can just keep on going through until they're here. I'm going to tap on blur to apply it. Then I'm going to make it go to the whole image. And I wanna take the intensity up to about, I'm gonna say 85. Okay, so now we have this. We have our first image is blurred and our second image is clear. That's exactly what we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come into between the two slides. There are two circles that show up. The first one's add a page and the bottom one is add a transition. We're going to click add transition and then on the left hand side, we're looking for dissolve and I want the dissolve to happen in about, let's do like maybe about a second. And let's see what this looks like if I hit play. And there we go. So we're going from one to the other. All right, perfect. Now what we have to do is we have to add our hook. So I'm going to come over to the left-hand side into the text tab. I'm going to, in this case, I think I'll just use a subheading, but I'm going to style this up right away. So I'm gonna make this quite a bit bigger. I think I'll do 88. Let's make it white. Let's also change the font. I think I'll make it Montserrat extra bold. Yep, like that. And then I am going to paste in the first part of my hook, which is need a Mother's Day gift she will love. All right, let's see what this looks like. Now, what I'm going to do is I am going to add an animation to this. So I have the text selected. I'm going to come up to animate and on the left-hand side, I'm looking for typewriter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick on enter. Let's just check the speed. I like that, that works, that totally works. I don't think I'm gonna change anything about that. Then what I'm going to do is I am actually just going to click these three dots and I am going to copy it. Then I'm gonna to go to this one and I am going to paste. And to paste, all I did was hit command and the letter V. Okay, so what I wanna do is put the second part of my hook on this page. Okay, so the second part of my hook is book her in for a facial. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm actually going to now add an effect to this one. So I've got the text selected. It's on the second slide. I'm going to go into the effects tab and I'm going to go down to curve at the bottom. And then I might need to make it just a little bit smaller so it fits on the page. Make sure that it's centered and it is. Now let's see what this looks like if I go ahead and hit play. I like this, the only thing that I see is the text is overlapping a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select this text, I'm going to click the three dots, and then I'm going to click show timing. Because this is gonna show me that this text actually goes over here a little bit. So I can take this top bit of text and make sure it's just over the image. Okay, and now let's go to this one and click the text and we can see that it is also overlapping. So if I just make that, so it just goes over the actual slide itself, then when I press play on this, let's see if this worked. Perfect. Only other thing that I need to do here is I am going to add my client's username. So I am just going to put on her username here make this a little bit bigger so that we're going to see it if i had her logo i could also add that i'm just going to leave that exactly like this now let's watch it one more time through 
Love it, perfect, I am happy with this. All I have to do is come up to the top, hit export, click download. It's gonna download it as an MP4. Download this, send this to my camera roll and share it as an Instagram reel. Hope you enjoyed this one. Make sure you subscribe and follow for more easy reel ideas. Cheers.